Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to this video series on how to design a booking appointment website uh, with Elementor and WordPress and in our previous episode we have designed a header now let's start designing our one page website okay and this home page to all the front page with Elementor okay uh, let's insert a two column section here we have to make a choice either we are going to use background image or uh, just other types of background for example gradient background and we still we need to insert an image of a doctor or group of doctors here on the left or the right side of these columns generally that's what we follow uh, or what we see on doctor websites so we need to do that first what we can do we can choose a background we can put the image image of the doctors on the background like this here position center center size cover okay then padding about 200 at the top 200 at the bottom okay then here premium hell Gear services premium health care services the the button. medium okay then link to these two appointment section then book and appointment okay just like this In this case, we are using this image as a background. The only downside is uh, we'll not be able to see this doctor on the mobile screens or small screens. Here, for example, here, we, uh, yeah, we can read. We have to reduce this fonts for the mobile. For example, sixty, just like that. But the thing is, you can see here we'll not be able to see the <laughs> image of the doctor. That's the drawback for using the uh, uh, using it is as a background image. Another thing we can do is instead of using this as an image background here we can delete this and we can insert as a gradient here Let's uh, choose this color and reduce the opacity. Mm. Like this. Linear, okay. Angle. Angle 90. Okay. Something like this. Uh, in this case, 
use the image of the doctor or group of doctor as an image something like this and for this here it does not look good so go to section setting Uh, remove the bottom padding here and once again re reduce the column gap to no gap okay here okay also reduce the top padding to about at least minimum 50 and remove it okay and section setting vertical align middle okay the axis is one on the middle that's it and we can also reduce the right column a little to to reduce the height of this image for example like this about 40 percent okay like this premium healthcare services blah 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 book an appointment this is just a simple okay what about on the mobile how does it look here here it's okay the only drawback here is that <laughs> we do not have padding on the left so let's add little padding for this column to this column padding about 15 to 20 little so it's uh, it is more readable it looks good okay For tablet, oh, <laughs> mm. let's reduce the phone size a little appropriately. Sixty, okay, and same here. We can add padding about fifteen to the left. Um, that it that's it that's it for the hero section okay now let's design services section okay we were not going to uh, give much to the services because this is one page website and it is not uh, good to have lots of contents just simple app this is just simple one page come landing page appointment booking website for a small clinic or a doctor okay so we will have about three uh, services so let's uh, insert three column section and padding about 150 at the top 150 at the bottom then icon box okay here first is MRI or scan mm. x-ray okay I'll check off and then copy 
copy this paste it here paste it here I'll check it off. Doctor on call. Home visit. Okay. Doctor on call. Call. Frame or stack. Here, home visit. Home. Okay, color second setting. Here, vertical line, middle. What we can do here, align mm, bottom. Okay. Align at the bottom, so it is little higher um, among the among these three. Okay, here, and what we can do, we can also increase this column height to wider. Okay, like this. Doctor Ron call health checker from budget. Okay, this is the services. So, in this section, lesson says section ID services. Okay, next. Let's insert a two column section here. And bedding about 150 at the top, 150 at the bottom. Style background image. This time we're going to image. And yeah. For this doctor photo, credit goes to prepic.com. So let's go to prepic.com and get it <laughs> image. Doctor Yeah. This photo can be used on yeah if we, re we remove the background we can be used on the hero uh, section. Anyway, download it now. Pre download Slide editor. Applied. Okay. 
we can do we want to use some background image so oh yeah the reason why I'm opening this image here is to save it as a webp image save as webp okay download okay I'm not it here set media size cover attachment fix okay this one then background overlay Next, let us take care of your health. White size about sixty. Alignment to the right. Yeah. <coughs> Little text again. Alignment to the right. And then the button. Okay. Here, um, overlay where we should have changed this overlay color on hover like background color. Sorry, it should be primary color like this. Okay, and then hover animation we can uh, use float. Okay, copy this button bring it down here paste it right align let us check your health yeah, yeah. to increase the readability Let's increase the background overlay opacity. Yeah, <laughs> this oh, there is not much contrast between this white color and this background overlay color. The best overlay color so far, I think, it is black. Here is can see here. It's beautiful. <laughs> Let's see how it looks on mobile. Let us check care of health. Here on mobile, we can align them on centered. Same here. Centered on mobile. Same here. Button align on center on mobile it is good. Yeah. Okay. In this. Uh, episode we have designed three sections 
two major sections hero homepage or the services and this call to action section okay in the next episode we'll design doctors testimonials and if possible appointment too okay and we will be able to finish this video series in uh, two or more um, yeah two or three episodes okay thanks for watching this video and i hope you learned something new in this video that's all, all, uh, all i'm hoping for and if you find this video helpful please don't forget to like this video and subscribe my youtube channel okay stay tuned for the next episode